Hello everyone, I am back here today giving you guys a quick tutorial on um, recording Minecraft or any game on a Mac efficiently with QuickTime because it took me ages and ages to figure out how to do it, you know, without the flashing HUD or the flickering screens. So I'm going to give a tutorial so that uh, some people don't have to go through that kind of trouble. Like I was saying before, you're going to need several applications. Um, you're going to need Soundflower, it's going to come up Soundflower Bed when you download it. QuickTime, which will come installed um, in the Mac, because um, this is on a Mac, it's going to be um, right there. If you go to your Applications folder down here, and then Line In, and you will need to make one copy of that. It should come up as Line In 2 or Line In Copy. First of all, let's start with Soundflower. Um, for Soundflower 2 channel, you have to set that to None. And for Soundflower 64, don't worry about that. For Soundflower 64, set it to Built in Output. Uh, for line in one and line in two. Okay, line in one you want to set to you mic the, the microphone that you're using. I'm using a gaming headset for the Xbox 360, so that's what I did. I just plugged it in there. If you have it like a USB type um, thing, you just hit this drop down box and it should be right in there. Okay, um, for output two, you want to set that to Soundflower 2 channel, which will come up in this drop down box. For line in copy, it's, it really doesn't matter which one because it doesn't tell the difference. You want to set the input from to 64 channel and the output to Soundflower 2 channel. Okay, Ooh, I'm cold right now. Okay, now for QuickTime, um, you're going to want to open your QuickTime. Come up here and hit new screen recording. Okay, and then when you come over here, you're going to see all these. You want to set this to Soundflower 2 channel. Alright, uh, and this way, can X that out. You can record, you know, your Minecraft, um, you know, all of that without the flickering screens or hoods, and I should have had this open from before, but I guess, you know, I just didn't. Um, but this would allow you to, uh, you know, record your Minecraft without flickering screens or any of that. You mean, so before, you know, you'd have, you know, the flickering screens problem and stuff like that, and but this is fine. Um, also, if you are recording Minecraft, you do not want to have it full screen. Okay, you would think because, you know, QuickTime records your entire screen, you'd want to come in here and hit full screen, but you do not want to because here, you should be able to see that the screen is, you know, flickering and, you know, things are disappearing. Uh, so you don't want to set it like that, okay, because that, it's, uh, it's, it's not good for your videos. So don't set it to full screen. If anything, just maximize that. And so you can still see all this and all this. Um, you know, it's that's not... You know, I, I wouldn't call it a problem. Nope, I flash. You know what I mean? But also, like my... Actually, I can just get out of there, can't I? I mean, my um, QuickTime play is stuck at... Um, 10.0 right there, version 10. I don't know why, it does go up to 10.8 now, I believe. And that way, you know, um, when you do open it up and hit new screen recording, you go like that. And when you hit start recording, you can supposedly do like that, and it'll only record that area of the screen. It doesn't work for this version of it, however, and it just, you know, it just has an updated past um, version 10. So, I would have to record all this, which I might end up doing, just because it's easier. Um, yeah, but, um, again, for line in one, you want to set that to your microphone that you're using plugged in, or, uh, for that matter, uh, you could just set it to built in, though you will have to talk a little bit louder to get it through. Okay. Um, line in two is six, okay, so line in one, um, external, just set it to your microphone, um, and two channel. Line in two... 64 channel and 2 channel. For QuickTime, you want to set that. Remember when you come into new screen recording, right here, you want to set this to 2 channel. Okay? Now for Soundflower, you welcome up a Soundflower bed, you want to set that to none and to built in output. And for, um, okay, I did everything. Also, do not forget, do not forget this. This is how basically how the entire thing works. You want to come into your system preferences, which is right there on your, um, your dashboard here. Or you can come up here and go system preferences, hit sound. You do want to make sure your output is at 64 channel. Again, 
System Preferences Sound 64 channel. That is how you want to work that because otherwise the sound will not come through. And if you saw my last video, that's why there was an audio cut off because I forgot to do that. Uh, you know, and that's really all you have to do. Um, once you are done recording, however, do make sure that you take this and you set it back to your headphones, your headphone port, or whatever. Take it off 64. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.